Another year. Here we go. Hi, Simmit. Hey, how's it going, Ken? Hey, everybody. Clint, you good? Okay, cool. Uh, head coach Mel Fortner with women's basketball. They have an exhibition game on Thursday at 7 o'clock. Coach, if you could just start us off with an opening comment. All right. Man, I like press conferences out here. This is nice. <laughs> being outside um, thanks for coming today first and foremost it's good to see everybody um, yeah it's hard it's it's hard to believe we're almost here um, starting but um, I guess the, the biggest thing um, that people are going to notice is that we are different this year um, we've lost some players that we've coached for the past three years that really um, were really did a nice job you know got us to a sweet 16 NCAA tournament twice and really tough greedy players now we have 13 players on the team, seven are new, six are returners. And it's, uh, so it's a, we're trying to, it's a new look, it's a new, it's a new day. So um, coming off of a team that for three years was one of the best defensive teams in the country, not just the ACC, but in the country, um, we've got a lot of ground to make up. Losing Lorella Kubai, those are big shoes to fill, two-time, um, Defensive Player of the Year in the ACC. So those are really big shoes to fill. But we've got some young players that are coming in that are pretty talented and that we're going to rely on um, that are going to have to help us, a Tony Morgan, a Kara Dunn. Um, we've got some transfers and a Bianca Jackson and a Cameron Schwartz, Bianca from Florida State, Cameron Schwartz from Boston College. That changed the style of play for us, really, uh, of what we've done the last three years. Um, we're more mobile, we're faster, um, we're a little bit bigger um, on the perimeter. Well, I don't know, I think about having Stratman last year, maybe not, I don't know, that she's pretty big, but, but we're, we're mobile and we, we can put some good size on the floor. Nerea Hermosa is back, a four-year um, player for us that we're looking for her to have a, a big senior year. So I, I think the biggest thing is this, we're gonna be different and it's gonna take us a while to find ourselves and who we are exactly on the court. But um, they've been a fun bunch to coach and I look forward to game starting. Great, we'll open the floor for questions. When, when you look at the, the two transfers, Cam and, and uh, Bianca, are you going to rely on them early in the season for scoring and then just see how the, the freshmen progress? Um, you know, it's, um, it's, it's, that's an interesting question. I mean, we definitely want them to score because they've got great experience in this league, there's no doubt. But the freshmen coming in are, can score. So it's not like wait your turn scoring. We want to score faster. We want more possession so we can score faster. Um, so it's, it's a little bit of an... Uh, equal opportunity offense. It's not like I'm not shooting because Bianca hadn't had a shot yet. We're not, it's nothing like that. It's a, it's a more open type of offense. We're looking for the first good shot. So, um, and nobody has dibs on that shot. Um, is Bianca someone that's kind of used to that sort of style of play of getting up the floor and, and you know, getting the offense going quickly? Yeah, she's a, she's, she can, I don't know if freestyle is the best way to say it, but she's good with the ball in her hand. She's good at um, playing off the bounce. Um, and so she has a little bit of that freedom in this offense to be able to take advantage of that. Um, so do all of them, really. We're trying to play a style that gives them a little bit of that um, so they can take advantage of their skill. Um, so hopefully it's a fun style to watch and we're not throwing the ball all over the gym. You know, that's the thing that we might see early, but hopefully not. You all open with a lot of local and schools in your backyard, yeah. which is a little different than the way a lot of people schedule. Do you feel like that maybe will give, get everyone a little more fired up playing maybe some rivalry games or like just playing, playing local schools is a little different than playing, you know, yeah, random. I, I don't know if I look at it like that, but if any time we can create a rivalry in this area, good, for, good for both teams uh, because that draws people to come watch you play. Um, I, I think I have a lot of respect for Kennesaw State and what Blue's doing there and Georgia State, what Gene's done at Georgia State. So, you know, that's just respect for programs. Um, and I think it gives us all an opportunity to play here in front of our people, all three of those teams, you know. So, um, and then throw, you know, Clayton State in there that we play on Thursday. But 
it's uh, it's more of a I think a respect for their programs and, and getting people in the stands to come watch both teams play. I, th I think Nerea played about 31 minutes a game last year. And of course, she had Kubai playing alongside her. So it's going to be a little different for her this year. Um, you won't get Blackshear back until the second semester. Who, who are you looking? Oh, she's, she's playing now. Oh, she, she can yeah. play now? Yeah. Okay. I, I thought originally they said she could. Yeah, no, she's playing now. Okay. Yeah. So are you going to rely on her, or who, who are you going to rely on to help with those minutes yeah. when she's on the bench? Yeah. Um, Kayla is a really capable, versatile player, along with Lily Love. They're versatile. They can play inside, outside. Um, but we did lose great size with Kuba, great, a lot of great size with her. Um, but hopefully with Aisha Aron, um, Aron, Aisha Wong Arona, is that we also have some, she's 6'3". So we do have a lot, combination of post players who can get in there and, and help Nerea, give her some rest. Um, but Nerea's got some, she's, you know, we're looking for her to do big things for us. So being able to maybe get her the ball a little bit more this year, we'll see if that works out. But, um, but um, I like the size, I like the versatility that we have with this team. We've got players who can play on the perimeter, off the bounce, or they can go inside and post you up. So that gives us a lot of good options. Coach, I'm curious, you said that the, uh, um, the new personnel has kind of made a change in how this team is going to kind of play this year. Is this something that, I guess, the new style, do you kind of prefer it this way or maybe how it was last year? And how do you kind of adjust as a coach as you've got a new type of squad yeah, this year? Our goal always, when we took the job here, our goal is, as a coaching staff has always been to play faster and to be able to push tempo. Um, and we're going to be able to do that more this year um, with Tony Morgan, Bianca Jackson, Cam Schwartz, Kara Dunn. They, they can run. Lily Love, they, they can get out and run. So that we want to take advantage of that. It's going to take us a while to, for that to come, I think, to, to being extremely comfortable with that um, and not being afraid of it to run all the time, make or miss, we're gone. So it's going to be interesting to see how this comes together because we're not there yet, to be really honest with you. I think you have to play the competition in order to get the feel for how you can push that ball like that and take the first best shot on the floor. We'll see We'll see what that looks like. So like I said, it could be throwing it all over the floor and uh, shooting the ball like over the backboard. I don't know. But um, it should be a fun, hopefully it's a fun style to watch and play. Obviously you had kind of a weird first couple of years because of COVID and all that coming in here yeah. and, and also just getting your feet wet the first year as well. but. Just kind of, do you feel like now things are starting to settle in and, and you're getting into sort of the, where you want to be with in terms of just building the program up? Yeah, yeah, we've, it's like it, it put us a couple of years behind to be really honest with you because COVID kept you from being on the road recruiting for two years just about. And so it's, it's put us a little bit behind, but this, this freshman class is a great core group that we had that to build upon and to 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 come behind and add to, so really excited about that. So, um, but yeah, you know, hopefully we can speed up the process a little bit, maybe you know. But I like the class that we're about to sign in November to add on with this freshman class and then to go with this core group of older players that we have to see what we can do. The pace that you said you prefer to play, is that just kind of how you think you, you, that's the best way to play or is it attractive or what kind of the factors that, that lean you that Well, it's direction? attractive for sure. It's attractive to recruits to, you know, they want to hear, let's play fast. Um, so that's that's one thing. But as a coaching staff, it's it's more fun to coach. You know, I mean, let's, let's get out and run. Let's use our athleticism, our speed and quickness and make people guard us. One of the hardest things to guard in basketball is the off the bounds. Have, being able to guard somebody heading to the basket strong, uh, it's very difficult to, to guard. And hopefully we can um, take advantage of that and, and see what, what kind of things it opens up for us. Might not always get the shot off of it from that person, but we might get it somewhere else on the floor, a really nice look. So yeah, we want to play fast. Last season, you counted on Love a lot to, to handle the ball bring the ball up court. Now that you have, you know, Jackson, the freshman, I imagine she won't be counted on as much. Does that change the way you use her out there? To check, to use who? Love. Uh, Lily, yeah. Lily, yeah. Lily is, is um, playing between the three and the four. So she's not as much of a ball handler for us. 
this year. We've got, yeah, we got Swartz, Morgan, Jackson. We got Inez Naguero, a freshman from Spain that's really good ball handler, been playing some backup point for us. So we've got far more ball handlers to create some things for some finishers. So it's, um, yeah, it, it's, it's, a, it's definitely a different style than what you're used to seeing us play. Hopefully it's a different style. Hopefully we don't have to revert back. Yeah. Do you have I a sense you. of who you're going to start? I have a sense, but I'm not ready to say that yet. We'll just wait till the till game time. Um, I think you were picked like something like eighth in the ACC. Eighth. Yeah, mm -hmm. <laughs> you seem to be aware of this. Um, and you didn't get any votes in the AP poll yeah. preseason. Obviously, you had a lot of turnover, and so there's, I guess, yeah. some reason for that. But were you here's kind of what you think and feel about that being a having gone to the tournament yeah. you know, two years in a row. I don't think it's I don't think it's unfair. I think when you lose Lorella Kuba and Lodomai Lautinen, I think that that's that's what happens. Um, you've got to have now we've got to have players step up and want to fill those shoes and and take it beyond that. But um, you know that's okay. It's, it creates a huge challenge for us. It, it creates um, some hey we'll make them you know <laughs> make sure that they understand who we are and 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 have to fight for something. I don't think it's necessarily a bad thing. Um, we just have we have some ground to make up, and let's just hope we do that. Talking about the freshman Morgan, uh, conditioning-wise, is she ready to play a lot of minutes now? Yeah, she is. Um, she's a phenomenal athlete and a really good track athlete. So she missed some time, um, you know, early on, but it really did not. It, it affected her conditioning for maybe two days, and then she was right back at it. She's extremely fast, um, and she could probably play all day long. But um, um, so we're, yeah, she's all right. Y'all, thanks for coming out. Appreciate it. And I hope I see y'all all season long. All right. Y'all take care.